In this video, we are discussing network layer IPv4 classful subnetting. So, here we are having the respective one example. So, here we are considering the class C network. See, uh, this concept is very important. So, many different questions will be coming in your coming exams. So, now see number of desired subnet if it is 1. In that case, in case of class C network in the earlier video we have discussed that the subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0 and that is only one subnet. You might be asking me what is a subnet? Subnet means actually a same broadcast area. That means to do the communication between two nodes there is no need to have any router in case of subnet. So, now you can find that all the last 8 bits will be denoting the host ID. So, the minimum will be the minimum will be x dot y dot z because I do not know what is the first 3 bytes the network administrator is going to give. So, that is why you have written x dot y dot z dot the of all bits 0 in the case. So, that will be known as the network number and 0 0 0 and then last bit 1 the 7 zeros and 1 1 that will be denoting the router address and the broadcast address will be all 8 bits 1 and that is where having here 255. So, here 8 bits out of this 8 bits we can have 256 number of combinations. So, 3 combinations we can use for this 3 dedicated purposes and so the 253 will be the total number of uh, number of IP addresses remaining which can be assigned to the hosts. Whenever we are having 2 subnets we require. Okay. So, that means 2 subnet means 1 again administrative extra bit is required and its value will be 0 for 1 subnet its value will be 1 for another subnet. So, that is why this particular along with this uh, 24 number of 1s in the subnet we require another 1 bit for the administrative purpose for the net id or for the subnet id. So, always remember all these bits must be consecutive that means you are having 24 bits 1 and then 25th bit should be also 1 in that case. So, here it will be here it will be denoting the 128. So, how many bits will be remaining in the last byte for the host ID? 7 bits because the first bit has gone for the subnet ID. So, the, if, the, if that particular first bit is 0, then it will be 0 here, otherwise it will be 128 if the first bit is 1. So, 2 subnets we are having here because we are supposed to have 2 subnets. So, now what will happen? Its next address will be this one that will be for the router address and its highest combination will be 7 bits 1, last 7 bits 1 that will be 127. So, how many combinations are we expecting here? We are expecting here 20, 128 number combinations because 1 bit has been used for the subnetting. So, that is why one uh, 7 bits can have 128 combinations, 3 combinations have got reserved, reserved. so I will be remaining with the 125 address combinations for subnet number 0 host ID. Here we are having the first bit is 1, that means the last byte first bit is 1, so it will be 128 and here the next address will be the router address and the last highest address will be the respective broadcast address. So, how many uh, host IDs are there remaining 125. Next we are having 4 subnets, if we have 4 subnets that means 2 bits will be required for the subnet numbering. So, it will have 0 0 for one subnet, 0 1 another subnet, 1 0 another subnet and 1 1 for another subnet. So, along with this 24 bits of 1 in the subnet mask were required another 2 bits for the administrative purpose. So, 128 plus and 64 plus if you go on adding 128 64 that is 192. So, if those 2 first bits those 2 first bits are 0 0 then the subnet number 0, 0 1 subnet number x dot y dot z will be this one. So, that is the I should tell it as the respective network number not the subnet number network number I can also tell. So, here we are having this 1 0 and here we are having this 1 1. So, so the last byte first two bit 0 0 means the network number will be 0 0 0 here 0 1 means 64 1 0 means 128 and 1 1 here will be denoting 192. Next address and the highest address next address and the highest address in this way we are having this. So, here we are having 6 bits remaining because 2 bits have gone for the subnet numbering. So, 6 bits can have 64 combinations. So, 3 addressing have been used for network number, router address and the broadcast address. So, the remaining number of IP addresses will be 61 for each subnet. So, in this way 
the classful submitting for the class C address or C class IPv4 addresses can be done. Also, you can go for 8 subnets in that case I shall be taking I shall be taking here 3 bits for the for the respective subnet numbering and rest 5 bits will be going for the host ID. So, in this way the respective subnet uh, masking how the subnet masking will be changing along with the number of respective number of subnets we have discussed that one into details do some practice on this particular numbering techniques solve some problems numerical problems and you will be getting confidence thanks for watching this video tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning